beginning you heard the figures and I believe that he had a very exhaustive treatment of the issue of Bangladesh Japan Economic Cooperation and he referred to the past as well as talked about some of the future possibilities. And also he talked about his work that he started uh, during his uh, time at the, uh, uh, at the NDR as uh, chairman of NDR. And we also had three uh, presentations from the Japanese side. And uh, they have issued, they have raised a number of issues which, uh, you know, needs to be addressed. I always say in any, in any business there are issues, there are problems. But if the issues are not resolved timely, that becomes problem. If the problems are not resolved timely, that becomes, you know, crisis or whatever. So let us keep the issues as issues and deal with it. And uh, we had a few presentations from on this side, especially on power and energy, automobile. Um, and uh, um, yeah, also we had the presentation from Basis on our asset industry. And I would say very intriguing and um, exhaustive presentation was made by the president of the BGME, which I call a very, very information intensive presentation. Uh, as chair, I would like to thank all of the presenters uh, for excellent presentation in their particular areas. And all these presentations, in fact, suggest one thing, that we need to exchange views among us more understand each other even better and share information come together in order to articulate and identify the interest and uh, areas of interest between us. Fortunately for us there are certain areas in which our interests are aligned, such as ICT, automobile, energy and power on which we have seen a lot of keen interest from the Japanese side. And in this area, we also have similar interests. And another area of importance came up is aged care, um, in which I believe the Japanese are the world class. Um, so there is huge possibility of collaboration. We heard that we are the second largest R&D producer in the world. As I said at the very beginning, we like a wide spectrum of engagement in many countries around the world. Since Japan has made venture in those areas in other countries, probably they may consider you know, having similar venture in Bangladesh as well. I sometimes give one example that relates to denim. 10, 15 years back, we didn't produce any denim here in this country. Now, we are the best producer of denim in the world. So there are many areas, potential areas, uh, which in which we can have gainful engagement in the future. And I believe in this next session we'll have opportunity to discuss even further, sharpen our understanding of the issues and at the same time articulate the areas of future collaboration. So with these few words I'd like to conclude and thank especially the presenters and also thank all of our guests from Japan and especially I would like to thank Jetro for excellent work that uh, they have been doing in order to have our meeting with the with our the Japanese counterpart here in this country as well as in Japan when he visited last time. So let us have a round of applause for Jetro's And as I said that uh, you know some of the organizations very active is uh, BGME and our mission in uh, Tokyo has been very, very active in order to bring us together. So, I'd like to thank all of you. Thank you all. Thank you, sir.